Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video with me, Oofle Spoofle. And in today's video, we are going to be launching a huge artificial gravity space station in one launch. And also sending up uh, some crew in an SSTO. Now, in theory, this whole thing would be fully reusable if it wasn't for um, some slight Pepega moves on my half. Um, I kind of did forget to put landing gear on this thing. But, um... Hey, I, I did land it and the video footage just corrupted. You're going to have to believe me on that one. But anyway, we're doing quite a shallow ascent profile. I mean, it's still... Um, it, it's a bit shallow for what I should really do, to be honest. I should probably go for something a bit more steep. Because as you can see, this is a very unaerodynamic shape. Like, this has a lot of drag in the lower parts of the atmosphere. So it probably would have been worth doing a slightly more steep launch. But it worked out in the end. And uh, by the way, sorry about these weird um, visual bugs on the flames. I think that's a problem with distant object enhancement in the newest version of the game. Um, hopefully that gets fixed soon because it wasn't like this in earlier versions, but we'll see about that. But uh, yeah, this is probably one of my biggest space stations I've done. We've got two counter-rotating gravity rings and uh, we've got, got loads of science labs. We've got ISRU, we've got a lot of solar panels. And uh, we've also got two docking ports where we can dock um, various crew modules or whatever we want to dock there, to be honest. And we've got a spare senior sized docking port if we want to expand it in the future. But anyway, we can go ahead and circularize the space station and then um, attempt to land the booster. Um, like I said, <laughs> the video footage got corrupt, definitely. That's totally what happened. Um, but yeah, if you guys want a tutorial on, on how to make a artificial gravity space station a bit like this, then I've done one, and I'll put a card on screen which you can click to and watch the tutorial. Um, definitely recommend checking it out, but we can go ahead and deorbit this thing. I've put, I think I put 24 air brakes on the, uh, on the top of the booster, and that helps to keep it stable as well as produce a bit more drag. Um, it also has... I believe eight drogue shoots and eight main parachutes, uh, just to help it slow down, because it 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 doesn't have a very low terminal velocity, so it's not going to be easy to land this thing with engines. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering how I've got so many vector engines on the tank, I've used the tank adapter, which gives me five places to to put engines, and then I've on each one of those points I've put a quad coupler, which means that I can have four engines on each node. So that comes up to a total of 20 vector engines. Anyway, I am not going to show the landing because, uh, I mean, I think you can guess what happened. If I did put landing gear on this, then I probably would have been able to land this just fine. Probably didn't also help that I was on a bit of a slope here, but oh well, <laughs> we'll just fade across to the um, SSTO launch. So this has capacity for 10 Kerbals. Um, I've only got two here. Uh, don't ask why. I also don't ask about that weird lift off. For some reason, this was really weird on the ground. It just wanted to steer to the side. And no, it, it's not unbalanced. Um, I don't know why it was. Um, but anyway, now that we've got it in the air, it flies really well, in my opinion. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest SSTOs I've flown. Um, but yeah, you, it doesn't have the highest TWR, so it is going to take a, a good moment to pass the sound barrier. But once it does, it really does pick up a lot of speed. Um, so I've gone with just two rapier engines. Again, it's, it's not that heavy, so we're not going to need more than two. We've also got two aerospike engines, which I'm using instead of closed cycle rapiers, just because they're more efficient, and we love efficiency, don't we? But uh, we're reaching the higher parts of the atmosphere now, so in a moment we're going to switch over to the uh, aerospikes to get us the rest of the way into orbit. And I've also got some... Uh, RCS monopropellant tanks, and I've, I'm, I'm actually using the five-way RCS thrusters on this, which have been added in uh, 1.11. Now, I did end up launching this SSTO way too late, so I had to wait about a day for the rendezvous, but it was fine. Uh, but now that we're there, we can get Bill to open the docking port, which is the inline docking port, like the Mark 1, and we can go ahead and dock this. Uh, the SSTO to the space station and get our crew inside and uh, it also turned out that Jebediah kind of uh, stowed away on the launch of the space station so uh, uh, luckily we have those 
spare seats available so we can just bring him back down and uh talking of that we are now undocking from the space station and uh i'm sorry that we didn't spend too much time at the space station but hopefully you can see what's going on there um but yeah we can go ahead and re-enter the ssto and i don't have the trajectories mod installed um because it has not been updated to the latest version and if you saw my last video then you know that i'm probably quite reliant on that mod to do my re-entries um but i guess here i learned that you don't really need trajectories to do this like i managed just fine i did this on the first try actually without the mod so uh i also forgot to close that docking port so i mean i did it just there but yeah you should probably close your docking port when you're going to re-enter but yeah pretty standard re-entry um i was coming in a little bit too far so i had to uh, you're about to see here, yeah, I have to pitch up quite hard just to kill off some more speed. Um, but generally this thing uh, has very good control and I didn't really have any problems flying this. Uh, if you guys want, like, if you want to have a download for this, if you if you guys ask for it in the comments, then I'll upload it to, I guess I can use, what do people use? They use Kerbal X, don't they, to share crafts. I've never actually done that before, but um, yeah, if you want the craft, just ask for it in the comments and I will... Yeah, I'll give you the craft file. Um, there are probably better SSDOs to fly if you're a beginner, but... I mean, I'm not going to discourage you from flying this one. Um, I should also encourage you to uh, fly your own SSD or like build your own SSDOs, I should say. And if you guys want a tutorial for that, then uh, definitely tell me in the comments and... You know, I'll, I'll think about doing that. But anyway, it looks like we have touched down the runway and that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, then uh, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment and all of that good stuff. And uh, check out the videos on the end screen here. But that's going to do it for me. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day.